My name is Ryan Trix. I'm a mind reader and magician. I believe magic has the power to bring happiness and transform people's lives, even if only for a brief moment in time. Today, a dangerous trick that could go horribly wrong if I don't nail it. Do you understand the consequence now if you was to stand on this spike? Today, I'm in East London to meet up with an inspiring group who were at risk of making bad choices but are now working hard to turn their lives around. These guys are learning to repair smartphones as a way to earn a living and stay away from a potential life of crime. Josh Babarin set up Cracked It in 2012 and I'm meeting him and a group of young people in this community centre in East London. Hello everyone, you all right? So, uh, what has Cracked It done, done for you guys then? How has it helped you? It's helped us link up our own business. Mm. So, we can have a part-time job on the side. Mm. Have you enjoyed it? Have you enjoyed the experience? Um, well, it's given me uh, a lot of experience. And I used to be very antisocial. and mm. didn't want to... Two years ago, I wouldn't be doing this, basically. Oh, wow. And, yeah. So it's helped you massively. So, yeah. As you guys are working with phones, I want to show you something now with, with a phone, is that okay? Yeah. So, who should I do it to? So, do, do it to you? Right. Go on, take your phone from me and lock your phone. Good, could you place it inside the middle of the table? Now, what I'm going to get you to do is this. Imagine now, someone calling you, anybody you want, in your contact list. Do you have a contact in mind? Yeah. So good, now use your imagination and imagine now that that person is calling your phone. Who is the person? Ben. Ben, is there any way I could have known this? Just focus on the phone, watch this. <laughs> ben, right? Yeah. But all I do is click my fingers. I should just stop there. Good. <laughs> cool. But <laughs> speechless. Crazy, right? I should That's check my phone for hacks or tricks. That's a stretch. <laughs> I've set up a motivational trick that will challenge one of the students to make a tough decision with the odds stacked heavily against them. If the trick succeeds, I hope the students will gain a greater belief in their ability to make the right decisions. This is a dangerous trick and it's important not to try this at home. Could lining up on this line for me guys, is that okay? Don't worry, we'll come back to them in a moment. <laughs> so I want to show you all something now based on choice. So who wants to volunteer for this? Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah. You look yeah, nervous. Yeah. <laughs> could you, do yeah, you mind coming over here? Is. here? So could you just stand here? Awesome. So now there's 50 bags in this room, right? When you walked in, you probably noticed them and wondering what's inside. 49 of these bags are empty. And in one of the bags, a spike like this. Could you cup your hands out for me? <laughs> now, this is very sharp, so please don't touch it. I'm gonna show you how sharp this is. So we take the apple. So you understand the consequence now if you was to stand on this spike. Yep. Good. What I'm gonna get you to do now is just take a walk around all the bags, just feel what number that you feel is empty, okay? Now remember, there's 49 empty ones. And just take a walk around now and get a feeling for a bag. You can change your mind a few times, but just settle on one bag. Just use your feelings. Whatever you feel is right to you. So you're saying one of these bags here has one of those spikes at it? One of them has one of these spikes. And just stand behind it when you're done. I'm nervous. Are you happy? Yeah. Good, now I'm gonna come over to you. So what I would like you to do, could you take your shoes off for me? What, both of them? One shoe and one sock. So now, was there any reason why you chose to stand behind the number 24? You just said go with your feeling, right? Now, do you trust me? Uh... No, not really. <laughs> Did you stand behind this bag for me? Now remember, these were your feelings. You felt for this bag. You took your time walking around. So what I'm going to get you to do now is take a deep breath in. 
and out, in and out. Now I want you to stamp down on that bag as hard as you can in the middle of it. Three, two, one, go. Good. <laughs> and you know what, at the start of this, I did lie to every single one of you. The reason why I lied is because I knew you wouldn't want to do this. Because, remember I said there was 49 bags that were empty and one of them contained a spike. Yeah. If you would have chose this bag here, you would have stepped on a spike. If you would have chose this bag here in front of you, you would have been standing on a spike. So all of these bags have a spike? Could you all come, come up and just reach inside the bags very gently and pull out what's inside? Each you grab a bag, any bag, pull out what's inside. See, the lie was <laughs> there was 49 spikes and only one empty one. And you managed to stand on the empty one. Have a look, every single bag. <laughs> Be careful though, please. Look, if you would have chose this one here, a spike. Every single bag has a spike in. You can stop now, guys, you can stop. But just always go with your intuition and your feelings because you will always be right, like now. Thank you so much for your time. I'm so sorry for scaring you like that. Thank you for taking part. Thank yeah, you so thank much. You. <laughs>